Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am in a different location right now. I am back in the US in my hometown and I'm here for the next two weeks. And while I'm here, I thought I would do some bookish content, show you basically the state of my books uh, that I left back in the US, show you the books that remain on my TBR that I left behind. Also maybe do a um, special manga version where I show you all the manga I left behind and, and such and such. The videos won't be of good quality. The lighting's really bad in my room. Um, I look really red in the face, probably from too much sun in Texas. Um, so yeah, the quality of the videos won't be great, but hopefully I can still upkeep the content. But today what I wanted to start off with, I wanted to show you basically the status of my books. They're, these are all the books I've owned since mostly childhood. The childhood books are kind of in a different closet, but basically all of like the novels that I've kept over the years. Um, also all the books I left behind that are unread, as well as books that kind of has seemed to snuck into my room that maybe my mom has placed here for any reason or other. Today I'm not gonna go in incredible detail, um, but I just wanted to show where we are we where we are right now because I am going to be organizing my books while I'm here getting rid of books um reorganizing books seeing um also maybe taking books back to Japan with me if they are unread and I still want to read them basically so let me show you where we're at so this is my first bookshelf um I took off all the little bubbles um here on top are basically all my spanish language books um so just things in like Catalan, some Isabel Allende, some Sepulveda, um, Ariaga. I have not read Don Quixote in Spanish. I've read it in um, English, but I haven't read it in Spanish. But basically these are just like standard books that I had to read either for my um, Spanish minor or just Spanish studies and then that I branched out on my own. This book, Territorio Comanche by Arturo Perez Reverte is wonderful. This one I think I'm going to keep and read again, but I'll do a separate video on my Spanish language books. Uh, coming down are just a mix. These are mostly books I've already read, uh, uh, well, at least the ones in the back. In the front, it seems to be books I kind of haven't read, I don't know, but you can see it's a mix of French and English. It's kind of just a mismatch because back then I organized my books not so much by like genre or you know, language or anything like that, but it was mostly by what year I read them and also do they fit on the shelves. So there isn't really much organiza organization within my shelves um, here, but at least this gives you an idea of what books I might have read. On Chuzzle Bit Beach by um, Ian McOwen. Kind of hated that book. That's probably going to go away. Coming down, it seems we have more like French language books. Again, a combination of books I have read and I haven't read. The books in the back seem to be books that I have read. And then these three in front, I have not. Um, but these are like the major big books, like Three Musketeers, Look, The Count of Monte Cristo, um, Don Quixote. Yeah, these are pretty much all books I have read. And some of my absolutely, absolute favorite books. Um, so these will definitely be staying on the shelves. But this gives you a little glimpse. Um, as to books I've already read. Coming down here, it gets to be a little bit of a mismatch. The Lord of the Rings, that's not my copy. I've never read it and I really don't have any intention of reading it. Uh, Mark Twain, I really don't like Mark Twain. That's gonna go away. I don't know why that's there. So you can see like it's things that have kind of been like snuck into my shelves over time. Um, sorry, I keep moving my glass. Um, of what I was drinking. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Shot by Both Sides by Mese Goto. This is a Japanese book. I definitely do not recommend it. I kind of hated that one. Um, but yeah, just a mismatch. Then we come down here. These are supposed to be the majority of books that I haven't read yet. So this would be more of my un, um, uh, unread pile. The This, Ariyoshi um, Sawako. She's the author of The Twilight Years. This will most definitely be coming back with me. Um, and then, well, these I have read, but I have like the series of Sartre back here. Up front here, you have two of my favorites, Musashi and Taiko. Although if you notice on Musashi, there's a bookmark here. 
because I have not read the last 60 pages of this 1,000 plus page book. Um, I consider this book read, but I never read the last 60 pages, go figure. Um, this, maybe it'll come with me because it's so famous, we'll see. But these, like, these are books I haven't read. Um, another Spanish book that came from somewhere else. Um, more French. These are all unread books. These are books I kind of like bought because I know the authors. I've read the authors before, but over time I've kind of lost interest in reading them. Um, so I'll have to go through these and see how I feel these days. Uh, one more shelf down. We have a mismatch. My dictionaries, organic chemistry textbooks. The lighting's not going to be good here, but um, I do have Proust, The Search in Lost Time. This is the entire bind up. Um, I have not read this. Um, Stefan Zweig, I love this. This is all his, um, his novellas and short stories. And I've actually read quite a bit, um, from this. I've marked, um, like where I've read and where I haven't read by these tabs here. So, because I just absolutely love Stefan Zweig. Um, yeah, it's just like, so you can see, like, it's just like, oh no, you can't see. So I'm not going to stay on this shelf for very long. But you can see it's like a mismatch of read and unread, different languages, and it's definitely something that needs quite a bit of organization. So now I'm going to take you to my side shelves. I'm going to show you the floor because it's a little bit of a mess in my room right now as I'm doing a lot of organization. So let's go over here. Here's pretty much where we get into like, uh, I have like two of these weird cube-like shelf shelving units um, that uh, flank my closet and it's mostly manga but um, like up here we have like just large books that don't fit this however if you're from Argentina or you're doing sp like Spanish you should know this El Libro de Clemente this is a really famous um, Argentinian character and it's so funny. I bought this and read it when I was living in um, in Argentina, and I um, absolutely love this. This cracks me up. It was fantastic. Just seriously, like so good. So yeah, El Libro de Clemente, like really, really good. Um, this next shelf is basically all books I've read, uh, French language books in the back. Again, it's gonna be. It's quite dark. So you can't really see, but I'll be going through all this stuff in later videos. Um, books in English. These are all books I've read. Um, mostly books I had to read um, in high school. Uh, and then just things like that, basically. Uh, Harry Potter books are in the back. And I mean, all of these books are pretty much double slash triple shelved. Down here we get into manga, which is... So you, just so you can see, but this will be in separate manga uh, specific video. Again, manga. Here are some Japanese books that I have. Um, it's mostly um, Murakami Ryu. A lot, well, a lot of Murakami Ryu. This is right here. Kagiri Naku, Tomei ni Chikai Bru, which is the Japanese, well, the original Japanese of the book, uh, almost translation, almost transparent blue by Murakami Ryu. This is the first book I ever read in Japanese. And if you read this book, um, you'll be like, what the, <laughs> like, that's your first choice. But yeah, this is the first book I ever read in Japanese. Um, and then you just have, um, some Banana Yoshimoto books that I actually don't really like this author. Um, but yeah, just more manga and down here, uh, more manga. And then back here are all of my Nancy Drew books because I grew up on Nancy Drew, um, when I was in elementary school, absolutely loved it. The original, um, yellow uh, bind ups in the back well not original but like the uh, yellow bind ups are like the original original nancy drew books just in their newer version but like those are my favorite and these were like um nancy drew editions that came out much later like much more modern much more flirty etc but i was a nancy drew fiend when i was young so let's go to my next bookshelf to the left and again majority manga which what you'll see in another video uh, which is actually manga in both Japanese and in the French translation, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, you can see manga, more manga, everything is triple stacked. Um, again, more manga with the Pléiad version of Les Miserables in French, um, which is like these very expensive leather-bound editions. This was a present. 
but I don't know if you can see like one, two, three layers of manga in this shelf. Some more manga down here with the original, original um, French editions of like Neon Genesis Evangelion and Kenshin and now they've like, those don't even exist anymore pretty much. Like all oh, that's been updated now. But that was like way back when manga first started getting translated. Um, so yeah, and then back here again, more manga. So this will be in a separate video uh, dedicated to manga. So if you're interested, definitely go check that out. And then what's left basically is this big bag of books um, that I have to go through. These were, so right now I'm in my room at my parents' house, but these are all the books that were on my bookshelves when I was living in my own apartment. Um, and these are mostly, mostly read books. Some books that um, I haven't read like this one. Um, this I have both the Japanese edition. I actually just showed it to you previously. This is the French translation, but these I have to go through all these books as well. So it's a mix. So there we go. Those are all the books in my room right now that I have to organize and see what I want to do with. But like that's the status of my bookshelves right now. Um, and yeah, let's um, start get organizing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.